ever wondered about the immense power harnessed within the nucleus of an atom, and how it can be both a source of incredible energy and potential destruction? This power, harnessed in the form of nuclear energy, is at the heart of both life-giving processes like the sun's heat and light, and some of humanity's most destructive weapons. One of these is the hydrogen bomb, a unique type of nuclear weapon that combines the processes of fission and fusion. Today we delve into the workings of a hydrogen bomb, a marvel of nuclear fusion. The hydrogen bomb's journey begins with a conventional atomic bomb, the fission trigger. This first, or primary stage, is a familiar tale in the world of nuclear energy. It's all about nuclear fission, a process that involves the splitting of heavy atomic nuclei to release a massive amount of energy. Picture this, an isotope, maybe uranium-235 or plutonium-239, is carefully manipulated. This manipulation causes the heavy atomic nuclei to split or undergo fission, and in doing so, a large amount of energy is released. This energy is so immense that it sets everything in motion for the next phase of the hydrogen bomb. But it's not just about the energy. This fission process also creates the conditions necessary for the next stage, a stage that steps up the game from fission to fusion. This initial stage sets the stage for the next phase, nuclear fusion. From the ashes of the fission reaction, a new process emerges, nuclear fusion. This is the phase where the real power of a hydrogen bomb comes to life. The energy released from the initial fission trigger creates a scene of extreme temperature and pressure at the core of the bomb. It's this intense environment that sets the stage for nuclear fusion, a process in which light atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus, releasing even more energy. At this point, the starring roles are taken by isotopes of hydrogen, specifically deuterium and tritium, now deuterium is an interesting character, it's an isotope of hydrogen with one proton and one neutron, while tritium takes it up a notch with one proton and two neutrons. These isotopes are usually tucked away in a secondary shell surrounding the fission trigger, waiting for their turn in the spotlight. With the stage set by the extreme temperature and pressure, the isotopes of hydrogen are compelled to undergo fusion reactions. Picture this, deuterium and tritium combine to form helium, in the process releasing a neutron and an impressive amount of energy. But the story doesn't end there. The fusion reactions release a large amount of energy, but the process doesn't stop there. The fusion stage of a hydrogen bomb is only the second act of a thrilling three-act play. So, stay tuned as we delve into the rest of this intriguing tale. The fusion of deuterium and tritium isotopes triggers a chain of reactions. In this pivotal moment, the intense heat and pressure cause these hydrogen isotopes to collide and fuse together. This fusion reaction results in the creation of helium, a neutron, and a significant release of energy. It's like a cosmic dance where two lighter elements come together to form a heavier one, and in the process, they release a burst of energy that fuels the next stage of the reaction. Now, these high-energy neutrons have their own special role to play, they're used to induce further fission reactions in a jacket of uranium-238, or depleted uranium that surrounds the fusion stage. It's a bit like a chain reaction, where the energy from one reaction sparks off another, and another, creating a cascading effect of energy release. This additional fission contributes to the overall energy release, culminating in an extraordinarily powerful explosion. The combined energy from the fission trigger, fusion reactions, and secondary fission reactions results in a truly monumental explosion. The magnitude of this release is often expressed in terms of megatons of TNT equivalent. To put it in perspective, one megaton is equivalent to one million tons of TNT. This is the force that makes the hydrogen bomb one of the most powerful weapons mankind has ever created. However, it's important to remember that the details of hydrogen bomb designs are highly classified. This isn't something that can be whipped up in a backyard laboratory. It requires advanced knowledge, precision engineering, and vast resources. This brings us to a crucial point. The development and use of nuclear weapons are subject to international agreements aimed at preventing the proliferation of such destructive technology. The power of nuclear fusion, while awe-inspiring, 
should always remind us of the responsibility we have in its use.